Hello, my name is Ken Pearson, uh, in service and sales at Shade and Avionics. Uh, today we're going to talk about the new USB recorder for the ETM processors. Um, so you had the old key technology, um, now we're switching over to the new USB recorder. Uh, like I said, that key technology on the left over here is we're replacing the recorder, the reader, and the key itself with this USB recorder. I uh, wanted to put together this video to show you how to offload the data. So, you know, after you've run the aircraft for a little while, get the engine data on here, we want to dump that data off. So we're going to plug a USB stick in here, offload that data. All that procedure is in the manual. That's not what I want to go over today. Um, this is once you've copied that data onto your flash drive, uh, this is what you do when you take it to your computer. So now that we have the flash drive, we plug it in and it's going to look something like this. Um, you know, it comes up USB, USB drive, our files here. Um, you probably won't see this ETM file. This is, a, you know, an archive folder. You won't see that, but uh, essentially you'll have those files. It could be hundreds of them. doesn't matter. It'll be your tail number underscore one for the first file and um, more later on. Um, the new files might have dates. It just kind of depends on what, what software you have. Um, but more than likely, there'll be a unique identifier for what this file type looks like. I believe the new one is dates and, and times. Um, but you'll see there'll be an import tool, uh, a help me file. This explains what to do. And there's also a manual for the recorder itself. Um, if, you, if you don't have any of this data here, you can go to Shaden's website, uh, go to Shaden.com, just click on service, technical pubs technical publications and software and head down to the engine trend monitor section right here engine trend and then we'll have our recorder here 943200-11 and that's where the uh sort of the manual you can download there and then there's also the fe fe import tool which we're going to need here in a second um you know that's that's there and then uh lastly uh if you used fleet view software in the past and you want to use it again uh we're, what we do is you, you can download that here um but you know if you had the previous version 7.3 working with your key the same thing will work with the usb recorder we just it's, it's the same software a um, couple other perks we brought up about you know doing the conversion it gets to an excel file but we'll we'll get into that later so yeah, everything you need is here. If you need to download anything that's not on the, the USB recorder currently. So the first thing that we're gonna do uh, is run the FE import tool. What this is gonna do is it's gonna pull those files off of your USB stick and you put them onto your C drive. Generally uh, on your C drive, there'll be a key data folder. And if it's not there, it'll cre it, it generally will create one. Um, if it doesn't create one, you can you know, it reinstall Fleet View and that will get that working. But to start, you're going to run the FE import tool. It's going to go through a little process here in a second. It's going to search for those files and it's going to say load five ETM files from D drive. So it found the five files that we had there. We're going to click yes. And now we have to allocate a new home base. So it says type new home base here. This is generally uh you know any number of things i i personally put it as the company i'm working with so you you could put you know the aircraft owner the company whatever you want i mean this is kind of up to you just for you for tracking but you know let's just do shade and navy onyx okay we're gonna hit okay so now it's gonna say one etm files were converted four duplicate files so this had four duplicate files these are just these are test template files i was fine but usually you won't have a ton of duplicate or incomplete files. You'll you you should have, you know, files that were converted. So we had one one good file out of this batch. So we hit OK. You can go ahead and close this off now. And now what we want to do is open up Fleet View. So let's go into Fleet View. So we open up Fleet View. We click on our we see our tail number here. Uh, and there's no files here yet. So this is where what you have to do. Now we go in here. When we did that FE import tool, it, it put the files into Fleet View as a DAT 
So what we're going to do is we're going to convert that. So we click on 755 and then we'll see a file here that was ready to be converted. So all we do, we click on that 755, we check here and we hit convert. Done. Okay, now we look, here's our KVD file. So now we have the file, just like when the key was, you know, originally done when we loaded it, the key would come in here and we could see our engine starts, takeoff, power truck landing. Everything that we could see before is now here again. Um, and, and now that what you can do is you can send this file to, you know, all of our the people that do the, the trend analysis for you guys. Uh, it depends on, who you know, who it is, but uh, there is multiple out here. I mean, uh, let's see here. Let's see here. Oh, we lost it. What happened? There we go. Engine trend monitors. So the trend group, Camp, uh, Jet Care, Dita, uh, all of these guys will do it. Uh, you may even do your own trending for TBO extension, but uh, you get the idea. It's uh, it's available. So now you can either send that file. Uh, like I said, you can send these original ETM files to them, and they'll parse it out for you. Or now you should be able to go to your C drive and go to key data and Shade and Evionics 755, and you'll see here's that key file. Uh, there's the, the original ETM file that was recorded off the recorder. And then lastly, when we do this conversion, we create a consolidated file. Um, this is just a feature we came out with when the, we redid this software for the USB recorder. Uh, some guys you know, don't like Fleet View. Uh, you know, honestly, it's... Uh, a little bit older program it doesn't get updated much anymore um, you know with, with all the trend analysis out there so this excel file is kind of nice you can build reports in here if you got lots of data um, but basically it's just a raw data dump of everything that we recorded um, you know you can do whatever you want with it it has tons of information in here if you're good with excel you know guys might like to do just like uh, peak ITT temps against battery voltage or you know any number of things but all that data is here you can build graphs out of here you can do whatever you want but all, all of the data is here for you to manipulate however you want to but like I said um, the, the trend analysis companies they're going to want the CTM file or this KVD file uh, how you choose to view it uh, you know that's up to you but again that uh, you want this folder structure to be set up with that C key data folder, the company name, and then the tail number. Um, that's a pretty common file folder structure. If it's not set up like this, the, the fleet view won't read the file. You know, that's one thing that if you want to keep viewing these files in fleet view, you want to make sure that you keep this, this folder structure, you know, as it is with the, the key file here underneath of key data, one folder another folder and then that it needs to be specifically like that or this won't work uh let's see well, that's uh that's about it so i mean if you uh, have any trouble um you know getting that to offload you can always contact support uh go to shaden.com go to servers technical publications and software has you know all the manuals read that manual first uh you know if you can't find what you need there Definitely give us a call, go to contact us, and there's uh, general information there. Address if you need to send anything back for repairs, uh, service, and sales. Um, yeah, we look forward to hearing from you. Hopefully you enjoy the new product, and uh, like I said, if you have any questions, give us a call. We'll see you.